Welcome everybody. This is the uh, Layer 5 community meeting for Friday the 28th. Very nice to see everyone on. Uh, let's see if we break a record today. I don't know. Uh, what do we, ah, uh, now. Impressively, there's 25 of us on. That doesn't break a record. So we're just gonna have to invite more people. Uh, that's how it's gonna have to be. There's a few people here that I know who are relatively new to the community. This is a great call for people who are new to the community to come on to. The Thursday call is uh, the newcomers meeting. So some of you probably are fresh off of attending that from yesterday. Uh, so it's a highly recommended resource. Um, and particularly, not only the materials that are shared in the Thursday newcomers meeting, not only are they recommended, but but so is getting familiar with the people um, that run those meetings and that, that attend those meetings. So since I'm talking about the newcomers meeting for a moment, um, I'll say that um, even though it's entitled newcomers, that doesn't mean that if you've been here, well, it doesn't mean that anyone can't go. Um, at any point, it's not just for newcomers. There's a lot of old timers um, that, that go to that meeting as well, um, which is very helpful because then um, there's a lot of engagement that happens. I was just watching one of the meshmates um, uh, provide some assistance to someone this morning and it's, it's always a beautiful thing to see that happening in action, which is great. We're gonna talk about meshmates a little bit today. Uh, so, as we've jumped in here, there's some housekeeping to do. Um, all of you that are on the call should have a link to the meeting minutes. Um, Navendu provided it a little bit earlier in chat. And I'm going to, and he'll probably post it again, um, because if you aren't aware, Zoom's chat isn't retroactive. Like, it only shows you after you've joined. So please list your um, name into the meeting minutes and, you know, if you're like Josh, you can maybe mis misspell your name as well. Um, there, is a, there are a couple of nuances to the community, um, just for those that are joining fresh. And so we're at 26 attendees at the moment. I, I like, it's close. We're, it's not a record yet. We got to get past 28 actually is the thing. So, so we'll see what happens next week. We'll see if we don't get more on today. There's a few of you, so there's some nuances in the community. I want to explain this because I know that there's some that have been here a while, um, some that have come back, some that are fresh um, as of this week. Um, some of the nuances are uh, sarcasm flows fairly liberally throughout the community. So if you are the recipient of sarcasm, um, that is coming from a place of love. That means that you are liked. So just a fair warning. Um, another nuance to the community is that uh, we have meetings, um, well, every day of the week. And um, like Aditya Krishna was mentioning yesterday, uh, on Thursdays, actually, depending upon what you're all interested in, you might be on three or four meetings. And so on Thursdays tend to get stacked up. Uh, why do we have so many meetings? Is that because we don't like to be productive and do code and do other things? No, it's because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of technology that we're trying to um, engage with, trying to help uh, build projects around. Um, some new technology that, that you all are creating. Um, we'll actually talk about service mesh performance as a specification. That's a project that was created in this community and stands to become, well, a standard unit of measure, stands to become a new piece of tech. So. Yeah, so some really cool things that are going on here. Um, both two of the projects that you all have been working on are um, halfway into the CNCF. They've been, um, well, conditionally accepted into the CNCF. Um, maybe we can talk about that as a topic. Um, all right, so last point of order is that uh, as you attend any of those weekly meetings, it is you are duty bound, if it's your first time on the meeting, to say hi, to do a quick introduction, to just let people get to know you. Um, and so I'm gonna call out a few names of folks who might not have introduced before, or you might have, but it might have been on a different call. And so if that's the case, please, please indulge us and say hi. So I'm just going down the top of the list. So 
um, Jazz Kirat is um, an oldie at this point, so he doesn't have to introduce. And we've got some. Oh, we've got we've got the real Abhishek Kumar on the call with the additional H. So, Abhishek, um, do you want to say hi? Hi. Or, yeah. Hey. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Abhishek. I'm from, I'm junior from uh, India, Delhi, and uh, I currently uh, I'm currently doing computer science, and I'm currently mentoring a organization for Google Summer of Code at JBoss Code for Cause. That's about me, like. Hi, Abhishek from Code for Cause. Right? Hi, Shiva. <laughs> yeah. So I know Shiva and uh, Utkarsh. Uh, Utkarsh is my classmate, and uh, Shiva Bia is like a. Uh, my senior from the same college. We are, we are both are from the same college, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. I Boy, you've joined in affiliation with Utkarsh. That's, that's questionable. Or, that guy. Okay, well, we'll have to, we'll have to talk about that. That's, um, I, I might have to have a talk with your, your parents, actually, on that. That's just, um, where there's, okay, okay, anyway, okay, I guess my sarcasm is coming through a little um, poorly, so th that's fantastic. Um, we'll have to, actually, we'll have to talk just, just because you know Karsh, um, he's been a force in the community, so um, almost on every project, I think, Karsh, there's, of the 40-something repos that we have, I think there are a couple that you haven't touched yet, so, yeah, so I'm, you know, for my part, I'm fairly disappointed about that, Utkarsh. Like that's okay. Good, Abhishek. Very nice to have you. And um, Mr. Kumar, Mr. Abhishek, we're going to have to. You're going to have to get a nickname. That's probably just what's going to have to happen. Is we won't be able to distinguish uh, you from the other Mr. Kumar. Oh, sorry. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know like that to Abhishek. So you can call me Abhi uh, for sure. Oh, beautiful. Okay, good. Abhi, very good. Yeah. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Um, good. Uh, boy, if I if I keep continue with this pace, we'll never make it into the meeting if I don't um, hurry the heck up. So, uh, um, Aniket, welcome. Um, have you been able to introduce before? Um, Aniket, if you are there, please say hi if you can. If not, just um, say hi in chat and we'll catch up. Hello, um, myself, Aniket Ranjan. Mm. Mm. And I am from India and uh, currently I'm pursuing uh, computer science. And right now I'm in third year. Mm. Yesterday only I joined the community. So I'm looking forward to learn from this community as much as I can. And uh, right now, currently, I have no idea what is going on here. So, yeah. Well, you're in you're in good company. That's how I feel about half the time. Um, there's more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As it is uh, really an overwhelming experience for me, also. Yeah, I, um, yeah. <laughs> you're in good company. Um, yeah, good to have you, Anika. Nice. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, Anshu is uh, old, old meat at this point, um, but Anushka has had it. Anushka, did you, I think you might've been able to introduce on the Meshery call. There's two Anushkas, so now, now we're gonna get confused, but Miss Shukla, do you wanna say hi? Okay, yeah. Hi everyone, this is Anushka Shukla and I'm pursuing BTEC from uh, Shada University and I'm right now in my third year and yeah, I participated in outreach and my application initial application got selected and the final one got rejected so <laughs> right now I'm looking forward to outreach again so that is why I'm here to learn Go and other technologies so that I am prepared already for next round of outreach. So I'm already so excited about this community and this community is like 
like the real good community i've seen so far so yeah that was about me nice ah oh, that's that's a fantastic story that's great uh as good it's great that to hear your goal as well actually we should probably ask more people about that about their some of their goals cuz um yep cuz uh so yeah good go, um go lang and outreachy and uh Nice to have you, uh, Anushka. Um, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I if we don't if we can't figure out a nickname, you might end up going by uh, Miss Shukla only because. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, uh, the other Anushka. Uh, the so. The other Anushka. I, I um. You don't have a last name, do you? Uh. Okay, so officially I don't have a last name, but I have a last name that's Anushka Shukla. So I will go by what you said. The yeah, Miss 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 Shukla, yeah. Miss Shukla. <laughs> nice, very good, very good. So, so um, help me out then. Is if of the other Anushka on the call, um, do you want to say hi and help deconfuse the situation? Okay, we are already at 30. Oh, 30. Boom. There it is. All right. Who's taking, who's, it's a tweetable moment at this point. Uh, all right. So, so, all right. We have to figure this out. We have two Anushkas on the call. Oh, sorry. I forgot that I was connected by my laptop also and my phone. So okay. yeah, I thought you were trying to find the name in the talk only. So I was checking that again. Now I realized. Sorry. Oh no, no problem. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Good, good. All right. Well, damn it. That brings us down to 29. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Shh. Just let's just pretend that uh okay. Anushka, very good to have you. You're getting harassed already. It's great. You're so um, Ayush um, Kandawal, you've introduced um, before, so some t a tired face, but um, um, well, Chirag, Aparad. Uh, yeah, that, that will be me. So I am also a student, a second year student from a college and obviously from India. I don't know why, but there are so many Indians here, so. Uh, I am basically newbie here and uh, want to learn te technologies. Like uh, I've uh, I've joined this because when you learn React from some course, uh, you just learn React. But when you con contribute to a project like uh, Layer Five, you learn so many things along with it. Like uh, I've started learning already the Gatsby and the GraphQL and so so many things. So I think that will take me places. And hopefully, uh, I might get uh, selected into some kind of internships or something, or GSOC or something. So that's my aim, basically. Thanks for having me here. I'm not sure what else. That, that's a beautiful introduction. Um, actually, one, one quick question: Is it um, is it Chirag with a with a G up front, or, or how do you? Uh, yes, I... that's Chirag. Oh, sure. I think uh, I should uh, appreciate you because you pronounce the names like quite accurately. Like no for foreigner pronounces names so accurately. Love it. Yeah, I uh, I try. <laughs> I try. I, I I I think Lee improved after having worked with so many Indians. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and actually to speak to in part. Um, why there are so many um, Indian friends on the call is, well, I, you know, in the past, like, I, I, um, I think uh, I've unapologetically said, well, it's because um, so many of you are um, chasing after exactly what you just, many of you just talked about, which is um, chasing after getting some, some experience under your belt, learning some new technologies, um, aren't afraid to jump in and say hi and, and be tenacious about your burgeoning careers and your, your burgeoning knowledge. Like, um, there have been, um, there's been a, a spurt of 
um, folks from Africa, from various places in Africa, um, Nigeria in specific, but but um, various places that have um, also shown very similar um, tenacity and just willingness to learn and jump in. And and um, actually, one in particular, I don't think he's on the call, um, Austin um, Augustine, who um, just like unbelievably um, perseverant in his pursuit of uh, bettering himself. And so he's responsible for, he was a visual designer. And so there's, by the way, it's not just go laying and react and that kind of a stuff that, that happens in the community. There's tons of things to engage with. There's stuff like not letting Lee host the next community meeting, <laughs> um, which would be great. Like Nivendu is so close to taking my microphone away. It's, um, it would be nice. Um, uh, but there's, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of different uh, things to engage in. And so, Chirag, nice, nice to have you. Good, good for you to be here. Um, so we have, um, well, um, Debjani Day is probably next. Hello, everyone. Hello, me. I am a sophomore uh, from Kolkata, currently pursuing my CSC undergrad from Narula Institute of Technology, and I'm here just to learn a new technology and my final goal is to crack gsoc so it's pretty clear nice yeah well, by the way a couple, that's very nice to have you um and dibjani as well that's rolling off my tongue correctly yes yes okay how oh, good by the way one of the things i think we just got done i have to let me interrupt for a second and say hey it was just last week we ended up um welcome well sort of announcing um a couple of new or internships that had just started. Um, there are more forthcoming, uh, but but I'll point out these three individuals as people who um, this this character right here in particular has been around for quite some long time. So these are good individuals to um, catch up with, have a chat with, and ask them what they did to land their internships. Like two of them are representing GSOC. Uh, another one is representing um, LFX. And so, um, so yeah, so kudos to them, plus good people to get to know. Deb Johnny, very good. Um, um, Deepanshu, have we, have you introduced before? I, I thought so. Uh, no. Um... Uh, I am also a newcomer. Tomorrow, due to some issue, I couldn't join that meeting. Uh, I am Dipanshu um, from second semester, BTEC. And um, I live in Patna. Very, oh, very good. Yeah. yeah um, nice. Yeah, good, good to have you. Uh, good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. You, uh, you know, does anyone know who's the hardest name for me to enunciate is? <laughs> I know there are a few of you who who know um, what name it is that I struggle with the most. Anybody want to say what that is? Is it Dutch? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> there's like, there's no question. Rudraksh. Ah, oh, it's like missing a vowel in there. I just can't overcome it, but. Anyway, Deepanshu, nice to have you. So, um, Dhruv, Gaurav, Gautam, um, Hina. Hina, we missed um, being able to say hi, I think, on the mesh we called. Do you, do you want to say hi here? Uh, okay. Hello, Lee, and hello, everyone. I'm Hina Singh, and I'm uh, I'm also like junior and pursuing my BTEC, uh, B Bachelor's in Computer Science in India from Mumbai University. And uh, I've engaged in other open source communities which uses tech stack mostly based on Java script and TypeScript. And uh, like Anushka, I too had applied for uh, Outreachy, but since I wasn't <laughs> engaging into the committee since along, I just joined, I was a newbie there, but uh, I learned a lot from there and I'm still being participated uh, like actively participating there so uh, landing on to layer five is uh, i think layer five is using some cool tech stack like golang and then grpc and also i just attended few last meeting where i heard like lee saying to integrate uh, with like 
Kubernetes and other cloud native uh, things. So I'm just too excited to learn about those new tech stacks. So that's why I'm here. That's great. As a matter of fact, I'll add a couple of words to, to what um, he, um, Hina just said, which is there's um, that this is in part, I think, um, well, why there's 40 something repositories, why there's um, uh, a lot of different interests in the community, because, because there are a number of different technologies. It's not necessarily because um, I have ADD or not, but it's in part because that, that's what the community is formed upon is it's based upon um, emerging and advanced technologies and trying to help make those technologies um, easy for others to, con to consume. The, there's a piece of tech that's been kind of at the center of a lot of it and it's, it's service meshes. There's, by the way, there's um, a couple of free eBooks from O'Reilly on that subject that really help people get introduced to it. So if like, since um, Shivaya is kind of top of mind for me, I, like Shivaya or others might paste a link to where you can get that book. It's, it's fairly short. I think it's worth the read. It helps introduce you to the space. And to Hina's point is like, yeah, it's one of the things about, and even to um, um, Chirag's point is it like, oh my gosh, it's like uh, trying to drink from a fire hose, just, you know, all the tech that's going on here and just the, how to get your development environment set up and, and who's doing what and who's focused where. And like, um, it's, in, there's intentionally a lot. Um, so a few things to say on this. One is like my, some of my best counsel to all of you is to, and this is even for the senior most, um, well, the distinguished architects that I've had working in my teams before, I recommend them to even start very small, like, start small as like, like almost like a, being a boxer in the in the ring like take on smaller components or smaller opponents and beat them and feel good and build your confidence about that and learn a little bit at a time like only get beaten up a little bit at a, at a time have a success and go to the next one go to the next one so the smaller you start the more likely you are to just have successive successes uh, but th this particular document, this layer five IO, this repository overview talks about, um, well, it, it shows the fact that if you're starting here and you're able to drink a little bit from that fire hose, that the, the cool thing about this is that you can leapfrog past um, others that might be starting with Docker or starting with Kubernetes or like to get to service mesh means that those Docker and Kubernetes and Golang and a lot of other, you know, gRPC and NATS and cloud events and OM and like, there's a long list. Um, all of that is part and parcel to it. So through osmosis, like you, you kind of, you know, get to learn some of those inherently. Um, so if you, so if you can do it and hang in there, it, it is like leap, like leapfrogging. I mean, it is a good thing to do. So, okay. So there's Hina, and then um, there's HP. Um, HP, who's on the call, do, do you want to say hi and introduce? Oh, uh, hi. So that's me, Joy. Um, I'm using a different system. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Joy, Joy, be quiet. You're, you're, you're old news at this point. So you're good. Joy, Joy, nice to see you. Joy HP, nice to see you. Uh, Jubier, good to see you again. Uh, uh, but moving on, uh, um, Kashambi, uh, Sharma, do you want to say hi? Hi, everyone. I am an undergrad from Radcliffe Engineering College, Bangor, and I'm currently in my junior year of Bachelor's Study, and I'm working. Here to learn and use my knowledge practically and apply it uh, in various projects. Nice. Yeah, good. Be, be tenacious or like a, just in general, just as another piece of advice to all of you, like, good. Yeah. If you're here and you're spending time, like go jump on an issue or go make one up. Because guess what? There's bugs in the, in the projects that we have. 
and it doesn't take long for you to find one. Um, it's not often that people's suggestions get rejected. So go create an issue if you can't find one. Uh, are you, do, do you want to say something? Not right now. Oh. And then, um, Mr. Bose, Sayatin Bose, do you want to say hi? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Shantan. Uh, I'm currently in my second year of uh, in pursuing BTEC from Naruna Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm totally new to this uh, open source contribution. Like, I need some serious guidance over here. Uh, so, please, uh, everyone, I request to guide me a little. But I've already found out some issue, issues. Uh, I think I right now I need to set, set up my development server, uh, which I am facing some problems. Nice. Yeah. Um, very good. Yeah. Don't be shy in Slack about some of those setup problems. As a matter of fact, all of you, as you go through those setup problems, um, please, if you would, I know that you'll, you're following the instructions on either in the contributing guide or in the docs.meshery.io, please, if you would, I mean, ask as many questions as you need to, but come back to make notes, like suggest a couple of changes. If you're going through these and, and you're stumbling somewhere, then that's our opportunity to improve the instructions. And so, help take away the pain for others that might follow in your path by improving the instructions. So nice. Yeah. Um, good. All right. And then um, Anish, um, Prashan, you want to say hi? Oh, um, Anish isn't on audio. So, all right. Very good. Hey, well, why don't we start the meeting? <laughs> All right, okay. Um, there's a couple of things to talk about. So one is uh, Shivai, man, what, what, t t tell us about uh, this line item right here, what's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, sure. So this time in DockerCon 2021, uh, there was this new concept of community rooms uh, that was brought up. So of course, uh, apart from the main tracks, uh, track uh, keynotes and the main talks that usually have. So Lee and Kanishkar had given a talk last year on wasm based filters uh, last year in, uh, at the image uh, project. So that is the main track that, you know, usually happens, but this time to increase the community outreach, uh, because it was a virtual conference, uh, we had these community rooms. So there were community rooms uh, for uh, different languages, like uh, Jap uh, Japanese, Brazil, for different countries. We also had a community room for WSL that was co-headed by uh, Nuno, who is again a master at uh, WSL and he's a Docker captain and has been regularly contributing to open source. Uh, so I came across like one of the CFPs uh, uh, that he had posted ar around a month ago and I had applied for Meshri because um, uh, Meshri is quite popular and of course since a lot of new students are coming in they might not be using uh, Ubuntu or Mac so a lot of them might be coming in from a Windows background as well so I just thought that since we have a dedicated room for WSL why not just you know also have uh, uh, like a, a CFP for uh, installing Meshri on uh, WSL. So today we had a session where we uh, described the flow of installing Docker, uh, K3D or Minikube on w uh, WSL and then finally installing Meshri. And uh, we, so since it's, it was a one hour long uh, conversation that we had, we also spoke a lot about contributing to layer five, uh, specifically talking about the MeshMate program and my experience that I had, even though it was a very limited amount of experience that I had, but of course uh, we just uh, described a lot about uh, contributing to layer five and of course all things uh, that are great in layer five. So it was a very unique experience because uh, Nuno himself was there. So uh, it was a really nice experience overall. So it was not like a, you know, like a keynote talk per se, but of course, like still being able to, uh, you know, speak at such a prestigious conference, it is a really great experience and really great to represent layer five. What, what to say, Shivaya? Um, I see so, so pleased that you're representing like that. That's fantastic. And, and you're, yeah, you're very much so correct in that. 
well, we were just, um, there was a bunch of chatter in Slack this week about, um, well, running Meshery CTL on Windows and running Meshery and WSL2 and, and, um, and they're, they are compatible. Um, some of the core contributors don't run on Windows and so um, have a hard time verifying that compatibility all the time. And so, yeah, what a great topic. Um, as a matter of fact, and so um, not only a great topic in general, but also to partner with, with Nuno who, um, who had come into the Layer 5 community um, very early and, and kind of before be becoming a Docker captain and, and had very much so used his time here to um, toward becoming a Docker captain. That was why he was, um, in large part, why he was spending time in the community. And so, yeah, what a cool thing to see that come around. I was somewhat dismayed that we weren't, that I thought that we weren't presenting at um, DockerCon this time around. And it turns out we are presenting at DockerCon this time around. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all that. Well, yeah. It was not like the main, like one of the main presentations like you had last year, but of course, like, you know, even this experience was really great. Uh, the, the, the entire concept of just creating separate community rooms for people. So there was one that was just for Docker beginners. And this was for WSL. So yeah, I mean, um, I'm not entirely sure if it was recorded, but uh, me and Nuno, we will record another presentation just, you know, for like, let's say the layer five YouTube channel. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Let, yeah. Um, we'll promote the heck out of it. I mean, sure. Yeah. That's, by the way, so one thing I've been, this has been on the back of my mind and I haven't, um, for my part, um, I haven't executed on it, but, but actually leave it to Shivai to, to execute on it. And that is, there's this, there's this uh, Zoom background here that uh, that Shivai has as well, and it, and it strikes me that my goodness, we should have some of that readily on hand so that yeah. others that either want Meshery or get Nighthawk or Layer Five or Service Mesh Performance or um, that like it is the desire to send out these things to a lot of you. Um, COVID has dampened uh, some of that um there's actually a stack of uh shirts um that have been sitting over here for about a year now um that just yeah that need to be sent out and so anyway or we could come meet you in texas <laughs> yeah that's right yeah hey um uh you know <laughs> you know the uh the other abhishek kumar i think i think he plans to do that in what a couple of months or so so uh abhishek do you want to tell people about um What's next for you with respect to Texas? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, it's nothing fancy, but I, I will be like taking off uh, from my work life, uh, taking off a break from my work life to do some studies. Basically, I've been admitted for master's degree in University of Texas in Dallas. So I'll be joining there this fall 2021. And uh, yeah, that's in a couple of months. So that's how I'm going to Texas. Yeah. You know, obviously, just, uh, I don't know if we've said this before, but there's a, there's a law here, like within 24 hours, you, you shall have consumed some amount of barbecue. So just uh, <laughs> fair warning, fair warning. Um, but if you're, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you get a pass, but. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice, cool. This is this is great, um, Shivai. That's that's fantastic. So so speaking of um, the MeshMate program was mentioned a little bit earlier, and there's a new addition to the MeshMates program today, actually, and it may not come as a surprise to many of you that um, we've asked Anita to to join as as a MeshMate. Um, a lot of you will know Anita already, and particularly from the newcomers call or from like the person who gave you access to many resources in the community. And so um, I was uh, having a long chat with Anita last night and uh, was really tickled that um, she is uh, accepting the, the role uh, formally. Um, so Anita, Congrats! I mean, I, like it's fantastic to have you um, s officially wear this badge. Thank you so much to everyone, and um, 
the community managers and the, the newcomers because they're the ones that always keep me active in the community. <laughs> I think the urge to want to help people get started is what keeps me contributing. <laughs> Thanks to everyone and thank you, Lee. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. What? A, yeah. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. If many of you um, all know this, but uh, the newcomers call on Thursdays. Um, well, I, first, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't my idea. S second, um, I wasn't the one. I, I just barely um, supported it. Um, but it's been Anita and Ruth, uh, another meshmate, and um, and and Shridi and a few others, um, Adi, and there's a, there's a number of you who've like helped with that call, but it's one that um, I don't run, and I don't, um, and it's fantastic. It's one that we talk about a lot. We've been talking about it a lot, and um, um, thanks to Anita, she's been um, shouldering it uh, for a while now, and so. Yeah, what a cool thing! What a what a what a great service for everyone. I mean, not just that, but the, but the rest. So, um, shoot, there was something else I was going to add about uh, meshmates, and now I can't remember. Uh, anyway, I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm overjoyed about like Anita's. It's gonna like Anita's already a success story, and uh, it's very clear that she's going to succeed layer five at some point. Um, which will be a beautiful moment. Either that, or we'll have to brand her with the Layer Five uh, logo as well. So what time will tell. Anyway, congrats, Anita. That's cool. Was it the issue of inclusion of her uh, profile on the Meshmates webpage? Yeah, please. Yeah, it is time. Um, Thank you, everyone. All right. After 40 minutes of having to listen to me, we are into the topics. Piyush, Dhruv, do you guys want to just want to tell everybody about what you've been up to recently? Okay, hi. Am I audible? Yep. Yes. Yeah, nice. So let me share my screen. Okay. Is the visible? Nice. Okay. Yes, you are. Okay, so I am running the local, uh, like, uh, measure server in local. And this is the URL where we are having the docs. Just for some context, uh, actually, we have uh, so many endpoints in our server. So if a user or a developer wants to check out all the endpoints and what are, you know, like, what is the use for them, what are the responses, what are the parameters, and this is for that. And we are trying to work with Swagger, that is open API specification, which will help us generating docs automatically. Okay, so that's how things work. This is an interactive UI where we can actually send, uh, like like execute, uh, execute a, uh, like what should I say, a request, yeah. And but there are some, some things that I'm concerned and like it making it is hard to get here. Like the first thing, the base URL you can look at here is localhost 30611, which is like being grabbed from here. This YAML file, swagger.yaml. And as we like we all like we all know that host is something that is dynamic and it is random specific to each user and i'm concerned about how we can actually change it because that will be replaced here and then we can actually interact with it else we will not be sending the request to exact url and the second thing that i was like uh, the thing i thought about it was to rewrite this host with the the endpoint we have uh, from like message CTL grabbing, um, like just how message CTL grabs the URL, we can replace this here. But uh, like we discussed, I discussed with Navendu that we are having this file as a permanent file, and there will be a CI action uh, which will trigger when there are some changes in models or in helpers. And like I'm really not sure how to actually work with 
changing this URL. Okay, so that's one thing about Swagger UI. Other thing of that, uh, other thing of this docs is uh, hosting these docs over our website. That's uh, docs.machine.io, and this looks like this. We are listing all the URLs. These are very few, like only two, because I have did, uh, like added only two URLs right now. And this is how we can actually check things about each URL, like what are the responses, what are the parameters, like the values and things we are getting in the response. If there are parameters, like in delete, we need to send an ID to delete that particular thing, like a pattern, pattern here. So parameters are here, and this is how this page works. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's about the docs. Uh, any idea, any feedback on like working with this thing? Like we have to um, uh, update this thing with CI also. And if he, uh, like any person is running and trying to access the docs on machine server, it should be updated that time too, like on that particular time also. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing I wanted to say. There's a that's this is fantastic. This is really helpful to particularly to those that are focused on a client. If someone is trying to add to Meshly UI, which is a client of the REST API, or if they're trying to add to Meshly CTL, which is another client of the REST API, um, like this is, get, this is going to become very commonly referenced. Um, and it will serve its purpose as a contract between the server and the clients. So this is great. This is the REST API. Um, so, so we're using open API specification, Swagger, and of, so Piyush, do you wanna, did, did you talk about um, the goal of having this integrated into the CI workflow, the GitHub Act, the GitHub workflow and how that documentation gets published? Okay, uh, so let me tell you how this actually this will actually work. Uh, like, if someone is changing either the handlers working under the handlers and adding some endpoints or changing them, or someone is adding some models, there are like some responses here. The CI workflow will be triggered, and two things will be there. Let me show you the issue I wrote. Uh, like, I tried to explain there. It would be better to explain there. Like, uh, yeah. There are two things. First, thing, like I have mentioned, that thing that when it will be triggered. So the one workflow is to update this swagger.yaml. Like uh, the first thing that I was approaching uh, for someone accessing the docs on machine server like this was to install swagger in the local machine, then then generate this file, and then access the docs. But uh, like we don't want uh, people to do that manually. So we included it as a permanent file. So one workflow will be triggering to update this file with running a make, a make command, uh, make swagger spec, which will actually generate the swagger spec like this, like scanning the models and generating this file. Okay. And the second workflow is to update this file that is uh, being used as uh, the data for this page. This page. Okay. So how that will be updated? Mm, yeah, data. This is the file there. Swagger.yaml. This will be updated like this. This file and that file are different. I guess, like the maximum number of lines are I guess around in this file is thirteen hundred, but in that file it is almost uh, two thousand. Okay. Why is that? I will be telling right now. So uh, if you can see this, there are two commands running here. First is to generate the docs. And then I am trying to expand this doc, like with expand. Why is that? Uh, like in uh, what is happening in this file is that this file has reference, references to different things. References to like objects. But Jekyll, uh, like work, while working with Jekyll, I found out that we cannot uh, we, we do not have any, any method to uh, shift to those object and grab details 
from the, those objects. So what I had to do was expanding these references, like expanding those references here. That's that's why this file is really big compared to that. And uh, to update this file, we will be running make swagger docs in the workflow, like make swagger docs. And that's how this file be, will be updated, this one. And the, uh, like this page will be published, updated, like published or updated, whatever. Yeah, that's it. I should I, uh, like, uh, that's all. That is, this is wow. Yeah, this is more than I was. This is great. Um, Hello. Yeah. Go ahead, you. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Can you hear Zoom? Or yeah, I am here. Yeah. Either I am getting stuck or you are getting stuck. Hello. Yep, we can hear you. Truth. Oh uh, yeah, Drew, Drew, we can hear you if um you can hear yeah, us. Yeah, okay, great. I can okay. hear you now. Uh, sure. So as Piyush talked about the graph uh, REST API side of it, the same thing we have been working on for the graph side. So I share my screen. I will just give you a brief report that I will be able to accomplish. Uh, so similar to the playground that Swagger has, uh, GraphQL also has a playground. Now this playground is actually inbuilt and built on GraphQL. There's nothing much to, uh, nothing much we add over this. This is a common GraphQL playground. Anyone who is, uh, who knows GraphQL would probably know this playground. Now, what we had to do on top of it, which was a bit challenging, was uh, automatically generate docs for GraphQL for our uh, for our documentation itself. And we did that. And currently, you can see the first doc of that particular documentation over here. This is like automatically generated using the GraphQL schema, which we have in our Mixed Server much like how Swagger, how Swagger works, right? So unlike uh, Swagger, this was, uh, this particular thing is built in Ruby, which where we have a custom template in which we can change and decide how we want our schema to look like. And yeah, that's the gist of how this is working. If you want, I can go a bit deep, but that was covered in the dev call. Uh, hello? Yeah, we can hear, can hear you. I guess your, your screen share was a bit slow or a little delayed, I guess. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, which I can start yeah, I mean, again or you can tell me which part did you miss? Uh, no, I mean, like you explain the GraphQL docs without displaying it as like, well, th that's what, what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let me share the UR link. I guess chat requires less internet than screen sharing. And uh, other than that, uh, you guys just, uh, hello. Yeah, it's clear now. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, great. So, yeah, these are the dogs. These dogs are basically auto generated. We generated the uh, the, it is written in Ruby. We have a custom template which we use to generate this docs. If you want to learn more or if are you interested in how this is working, you can check out the docs folder. Uh, over here, we have, I have created a custom rake command in which it is able to create the GraphQL schema itself. All the code base can be found in the rake file and in the dip file itself if someone is interested. And here is our custom template. Prove your voice is cracking, I think. Nice. Yeah, sorry about that. My internet is acting weird. So, I guess that's all I have to present for now.
if anyone has any doubts or questions you can ask them if given you can still hear me i guess <laughs> yeah yeah we can um it's pretty important stuff between the the and it's nice that they're both happening at the same time um the documentation for the rest api and the graphql api and it's actually Drew, is it is it just the docs or are is there any restructuring or new endpoints being built so Nivendu, do you want to talk about it, Abhishek? Uh, so, so it is under progress. I would say basically, uh, we just picked up, uh, we, we just picked up each and uh, according to priority, and then we just started to build it. Build, we just started to build the GraphQL uh, subscriptions, and uh, that has not been updated in the schema currently yet. But uh, it, it will. It, so basically, the flow is automated. So as and when it gets updated, it will reflect in the docs as as it goes. Cool. Uh, and for the REST APIs, like we are changing the endpoints, uh, like the, the once marked uh, red will be changed, changed to the proposed endpoints. And we will also change uh, the endpoint set for every clients, like the U UI and mesh receipt data. That's it. Okay, very good. So there's uh, basically an overhaul of the APIs that it's going on. So there's automated, you guys are getting API specs written, you're getting automated documentation going for, for REST and for GraphQL. You're also changing around the structure of the endpoints themselves, like the, the API URLs. And, and all for the better, like you can tell that the project has evolved over time and more and more constructs, more and more objects, um, more and more nouns have been created in the, in the Meshery project. And so, yeah, organizing these under, under a user section, that, that really helps. Some of these have been duplicative as well. So it looks like we're gonna consolidate a couple of API endpoints. So a lot to coordinate and communicate, I think, as, the, as this goes forth. Like between you know the those that are impacting and changing the back end and uh, the server rather and then the two clients meshery ctl and meshery ui will need to be coordination in terms of when those changes are done so and given that the project is at a v050 sort of a halfway well yeah i guess we're almost to a v060 but sort of halfway to a 1.0 um it's still we're still within our rights uh to break the apis if you will. So it's, I'm pleased. So it's good to see that, that you all are taking on this effort now before too much of a contract gets put in place with users of Meshery. So it's a good, it's good. It's a good way to help scale the project um, too. So, all right, we have uh, almost at the top of the hour, we have a few different things to um, cover. Some of these things can wait. Um, I guess just really briefly, I'll say that there was a performance um, a service mesh performance benchmark that was just released last night or yesterday, today, or um, and it's talking about the differences between Istio and Linkerd and how how they compare in terms of their speed and performance. And um, the service mesh performance project, our project, um, is called out um, explicitly as one to engage in. So that's nice. I mean, uh, the, these service mesh teams are well aware of our efforts. Okay. And so I did, yeah, we'll skip over. So there's one other item that we should get to today. It, we've talked about it in, in the past, and it's certainly been a conversation, a topic of conversation in the website's call. And, and it, that is, well, um, Josh, do you want to tell everybody what this is, this next topic? Uh, yeah.
ओके सो लाइक इज माई स्क्रीन विजिबल इट इज या सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग लाइक वी आर ऑन दी वर्ड ऑफ लॉन्चिंग लेयर लेयर फाइट डिस्कशन फॉरम डेट्स ऑन डिस्कस डॉट लेयर फाइट डॉट आयो एंड basically so this is a discussion this is a, a deployment of discourse uh, that pro, uh, that provides with a discussion and uh, that provides with discussion forum and we have customized it to be used for layer 5 uh, we have added the initial categories uh, and all, all stuff so uh, this will in part uh, take place of uh, all the discussions that are going uh, in slack uh, in a few days and so like more people more uh, large number of people can benefit uh, and they can ask their questions out and uh, uh, get to learn much from here so i think lee has to cut the rope uh, cut the ribbon oh shoot. no no I, this is uh, this is a great example of like me in some respects being just kind of a bystander to to what's going on here is um so 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 i'll i'll say a few things about this only because i've been watching josh and a few of uh, the rest of you carry this forward um and that is that well the so josh is launching the layer 5 discussion forum today like um you can see that there's like no discussions on it right now um he has got um he and a few others have worked to um ensure that we've customized this instance of discourse that he's he's diligently worked through um the various plugins that we might want to enable or disable um there's a lot for us all to collectively learn i personally have spent very little time inside of discourse if you go to discourse.org you'll you, you will no doubt have any any of you or all of you have probably participated in this type of a forum in the past and it's become clear to us that like we have a lot of great discussions going on in slack and we will continue to have slack and do tons of all of the same discussions in slack like nothing is changing in that regard other than it is um it is on frequent occasion we are having a discussion in slack and it's like hey that's that's noteworthy or that's a, would make for a great reference and so you know we'll pin it you know someone will pin it in slack or someone will take the time to go put it into a google doc or go put it into a github issue some place of permanence of permanent persistence um and sometimes we don't and the conversation is lost or sometimes we capture it in a google doc and for those of you who have access to the community google drive which if you're on the call you all should if you don't um well see anita um see our, our latest meshmate anita she'll make sure you get um access there's a lot of docs and google search through google drive is is pretty great you can you can um navigate that way but anyway there's a lot of docs you are all welcome to create new docs edit the existing ones all that so you know engage like you um but sometimes we we miss persisting that and also there's many um users and uh people who engage with the works that are done here that aren't in slack and so and there are many like repetitive questions that get asked that are they're fine questions and they're kind of hard to not always do people not always is that information publicly published and it should be and so that's part of the goals and the the genesis the, the logic behind the genesis of this discussion forum is to persist them some things is to let people talk about and ask about the projects that are going on here it's also to engage people in discussions on relevant technologies so um it says service mesh right in the title and so in general we expect there'll be a few more categories here about um different service meshes and running them and understanding kubernetes and docker and other there's there's a lot of tech around that um eventually it's a very slow and an extraordinarily soft launch today um so soft that we weren't even sure we were going to launch it um but it's time um what i was trying to say is that i've i'm kind of a bystander to this just watching and and supporting um josh and others as they've created it so there's a um a 
there is going to be an open need for a people to ask questions in there, people to answer questions in there, people to moderate the forum. I don't know that we've got anyone officially wearing a forum moderator hat, but that needs to happen. Uh, yeah. So uh, like we are, uh, we are bringing a new role <laughs> uh, for the layer of community. So these are the layer of community moderators. And I just now received, uh, found the notification that Aditya Krishna has accepted the invitation. So maybe he's the first moderator for our community and the second one would be Anita as soon as she uh, accepts our invitation. Uh, so congrats Aditya and Anita for the first uh, moderators for the forum. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, Josh, there's also a, a staging site. Uh, so if people um, want to, like if we want to play around with new plugins and see how they work and things, it um, sounds like the staging site is the place to, to do that. That's what is that staging hyphen discuss.layer5.io, okay. Yeah, I have dropped both the links in chat as well. Uh, one is staging discuss, uh, which refers to uh, the our initial effort on implementing discourse. And uh, so, like, if you want to uh, make some tweaks around, uh, so you can drop drop over here, and you can even earn an admin access to make any changes or want to learn how discourse works. And uh, the other one is discuss.layerfed.io. This is the production build, uh, and this is what we are launching. And I'll be adding other two categories. Uh, so, but uh, this is not uh, specific to just service meshes. Uh, this is this can like this is a place you can ask questions for uh, related to layer five projects, layer five tech stack, or general community questions or anything related to open source to be specific. This is cool. This, this is great. I, I, everyone go jump in, go, go get, grab an account, go jump in, go point out the fact that like, maybe there should be another plugin that's turned on or maybe go express opinion that we shouldn't have voting enabled. I, I don't know, or that we're missing some categories. Um, do provide Josh your feedback and, and apparently um, Anita and Adi or Aditya Krishna um, as yes. some of the first moderators. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get some um, activity going on. I know a number of you have questions that you've been asking in Slack right now. So um, again, this isn't to displace Slack, but um, the more questions that we ask publicly, or that you all ask publicly, or that we answer, that you all answer publicly, um, the longer that that work will persist. So. Uh, yeah, so like it's uh, it's uh, this easy to create an account similar to any any other place. You can even create an account with your social logins. So we'll we'll expect at least thirty accounts by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and two from Anushka. Good, good, good. Cool. Well, uh, Josh, the, kudos on seeing this through. I know um, you picked up um, an internship along the way, um, and so. This isn't the only thing that that um, vies for your time, but so yeah, kudos on on getting it to launch. This is great, looks good. Um, well, we're, we're ten minutes after. Um, I appreciate that almost all of you have stayed on for that long. Uh, hopefully, we didn't miss um, too much today, um, but we're we're out of time, so it's. Uh, it's been very nice to see you all. We did break the record. We did hit 29 participants. I think the record was at 28. So, and then with um, thanks to Anushka, you know, maybe maybe we'll count it as 30. Maybe we won't. We'll just we'll keep that. You know, we'll keep that amongst ourselves. We'll keep that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very nice to see you all. Uh, see you in Slack. See you on Discuss. Okay. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye everyone.